Connection established. Welcome. A few months ago I found a cheap ESP8266 with Relay and ordered it without thinking. Its price was 6 US dollars. I thought that process of setup will be almost like plug and play. I was gonna write a simple program, upload it to ESP8266, plug ESP8266 to Relay and things gonna work. But was it like that? No. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, I just want to warn you that working with high voltage is dangerous, so please be careful and if you have never worked with it, ask someone who did to help you. Let me tell some specs for this ESP8266. Later on I'm going to call ESP8266 just ESP, so you know it's the same. Datasheet, more information and all other links can be found in video description. Maker of this ESP8266EX system on chip, or also known by name ESP01, is Espressive Systems from China. A few years ago there was hard to find any data for Espressive products, but now I must say nice job to Espressive Systems for making nicely organized information about their products on their website. ESP8266EX is integrated with a 32-bit Tensilica L106 RISC processor, which achieves extra low power consumption and reaches a maximum clock speed of 160 MHz. The real-time operating system RTOS, and Wi-Fi stack allow about 80% of the processing power to be available for user application, programming and development. That's what they are claiming. Board supports 802.11bgn, that is 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. ESP8266EX uses external SPI flash to store user programs and supports up to 16 MB memory capacity, theoretically. It comes with 8 easy accessible pins that you can see on this picture. Its application can be found in home automation, smart plugs and lights, IP cameras, Wi-Fi location aware devices and many more. Today my goal is to write simple C++ program, upload it to ESP and be able to switch on and off relay from Home Assistant. Beside ESP, I'll use USB to TTL CP2102 module, breadboard and some wires. Links for all items are in description. So let's start with driver for USB to TTL module. I'm using Windows 10 here. If Windows automatically doesn't recognize your USB to TTL module, download drivers from Silab's website and install it like I did. Link is in description. Next, let's connect ESP and USB module with the help of breadboard accordingly to this sketch. That way we will be able to upload program or flash ESP. This will be a little bit messy with wires and maybe hard accessible, but once we do it we have ESP ready for use. Now to programming. IDE I'm using is Atom with platform IO. In a few of my previous videos you can see how to install Atom and write a simple program. I will add links to those videos in top right corner and below in video description. OK. Open Atom and find Platform IO home screen. Then open Devices tab and there you should see COM port for USB to TTL serial communication. Let's go to Projects tab and create a new project. I will call it ESP8266 Relay. You can choose your own. Select board. I picked ESP8266 ESP12E, but choosing any ESP8266 should be fine. And I will leave Arduino framework. And finish. 
After that's done, let's fast check platformio.ini. It should look like this, so please check. Now open main CPP. Here, I'll add code for ESP to control relay over Wi Fi with Home Assistant and MQTT protocol. Let me open old main CPP from my previous project that is also available on YouTube. Basically, just copy and paste code that we need from there. Link to code will be in the description below video, so you can just copy and paste it. Let me first explain the program. First, I paste ESP8266 Wi-Fi library for controlling ESP Wi-Fi connection. Next, I will add a relay pin that will be later set to zero. Then, next lines are for MQTT server, or we can say broker, IP. With the help of MQTT protocol, we will subscribe the topic which we will add in this code later. And by doing that, we will be able to tell ESP from Home Assistant to turn Relay on and off. Under that MQTT IP is defined Wi-Fi client with which we will connect ESP to the WLAN and later on to MQTT server. Next part I pasted is callback function that will take message or we can say order that arrived from Home Assistant and which is in our case 0 which will turn Relay off and one which will turn relay on. In setup function, let's set a relay pin as output pin because we are giving orders in this case. Let's add lines for serial communication so we can see what's going on over serial monitor. After that, I'll paste part from Wi Fi connection information. Add yours Wi Fi SSID name and password have enabled DHCP on your router. ESP should get some IP and connect to MQTT broker, but I forgot on PubSub client library. Without that, previous is not going to work, so let's add it. And this sensor.begin is a line we don't need. And let's change the relay from 5 to 0 as we said before. That's because pin 5 doesn't exist on this board and we will use pin GPI 0 for switching relay on and off. Ok, nice. Press build to check for errors. No errors? That is lovely to see. Check that you have connected everything accordingly to sketch and if you already didn't, plug USB module in PC and let's upload program to ESP. Will it work from the first? It looks like it won't. Two errors arrived. After a minute, I simply unplugged USB to TTL module from PC and plugged it back. That should resolve the errors. I forgot to add few lines of code in program. I'll add them now. Let's quickly save this and try to build and upload program to ESP again. This time, upload is successful. Interesting thing I saw when code was uploading to SP is that flash size is only 1 megabyte, and this program took around 250 kilobytes. Nice! Program is now on ESP. Before you disconnect USB, let's remove wire from pin GPI 0 and pull out wire for 3 volt pin and push it back in. This way, we will pass from flashing mode which we were all this time to regular, we can say normal ESP working mode. Let's see how ESP is working from serial monitor. I will open platform IO serial monitor inside Atom. Strangely, it is not showing anything. Plugging USB module out and in doesn't help. So I have another tool to test this. It's Hercules Serial Monitor. 
So let me try with it. Pick port, in my case that's COM3, and choose 1152.00, baud rate and open. Can we see messages when pressing button in Home Assistant? Yes, we can. Nice. Let me plug out and plug in 3V wire to power off and on ESP. And here you can see messages that ESP is connecting and is now connected to Wi-Fi with IP that has last 8 bits showing number 208. Ok, that's great. Another way to see if your ESP is connected to Wi-Fi is with using Angry IP Scanner or similar tool. If we unplug USB to TTL module and plug it again to PC, after 5 to 10 seconds, as we saw in Hercules, module should connect to your router. I have opened Angry IP Scanner. Let me edit my network range and start scanning. Here we can see that ESP is connected to router over Wi-Fi and got again this IP address with last 8 bits showing number 208. ESP is now ready to be used. In my video about home automation with Home Assistant and MQTT that I already mentioned a few times, you can see how to set up Home Assistant. So I won't go through that again. I will start Home Assistant server from the previous project. Its version is 0.98.3 and it is located on Windows 10. We will need to edit two things. First is configuration. After you install Home Assistant on Windows 10, go to start and write percentage app data percentage. There you will find dot home assistant folder. Open it and inside you will find configuration. Let's edit configuration for our project. I removed all config except light with in light topic and broker where no IP is needed. If you run home assistant on PC that has IP we added in C++ program. In our case that is 192.168.1.7. This line with broker and IP was causing me an error, so I removed it. If you are writing configuration, be careful on every line and space, because configuration is extra sensitive and can throw errors easily. Now let's stop Home Assistant and start it again to apply configuration changes. Second thing to do is configure Home Assistant user interface. Open your Home Assistant dashboard, open it in web browser and write your Home Assistant IP and add port 8123. Enter username and password and we are in. Press three dots in top right corner and configure UI. Press again three dots and click row config editor. There you can paste configuration which can be found in video description. When you save that configuration, you should see light bulb button like this one. Home Assistant is now prepared for giving orders to ESP. All that left is just to connect ESP to Relay module and test this. This should be easy. Just plug ESP inside, connect 5 volts and ground from USB module that is connected to Relay module and uh, nothing happens. Ok, ESP red LED is lit. That is good signal. Let's give ESP some 10 seconds. Maybe it just needs more time to connect. And let's test it over Home Assistant. Nope, still not working. Let's plug and unplug USB module. No, not helping. This is where the real problem appeared. We've came to this point and now Relay is kidding. I spent quite some time searching for what the problem could be. I assumed that problem is in pins wiring of Relay. But I couldn't find any data and schemes for this Relay module to see how pins are actually wired. I was getting angry and gave up for that day. Few days later I checked if someone maybe posted something about that on YouTube. And that's where I found this gem. I'll add a video link in the description. On Czechian YouTube channel, which I'm very thankful to, is explained that CHPD pin on this cheap module is not connected to 3V pin. And one more thing, one of resistors should be removed. That means soldering and plug and play won't happen in this case. So first, I took small piece of wire and solder CHPD pin with 3 volt pin. Now harder part. Remove these tiny resistors and solder one of them again. I removed both of them and replaced 10 kilo ohm 
R1 resistor with 2 kOhm R2 resistor. Ok Relay, will you please work now? Plug ESP in yellow socket on Relay and power wires in Relay module. I will add this blue wire to 5 volts and green to ground. And look at that, something starts clicking, that's a great sign. I will open Home Assistant and try if switching is working. Yes, it's finally working. Ok, for the end, let's connect light bulb to relay and test it. Please take care if working with high voltage. Awesome, it is working as it should be. You can also open Home Assistant on your smartphone by simply typing IP and port 8123 in browser. I spent more time for this project than I planned and almost gave up when saw that this relay is joking with me so much. But now seeing this working, I feel great and will be looking to implement this relay for everyday usage in the future. And that's it. I hope you learned something new and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck.